Okay guys, good morning. So today we get to do my all time favorite thing and that is glass shopping. I know it doesn't sound super exciting, but I swear to God, it's one of my like all time favorite things to do. So I'm gonna take you along with me so you can see a little bit behind the scenes of what it's like actually getting to pick out and shop for the glass before I even make anything. So let's go. Okay guys, here's what it looks like. Glass heaven. Just rows and rows and rows of beautiful glass. So as you can imagine, it's hard to resist. You just want to buy it all. But this is my favorite section right here, iridescent. And I'm lucky the owner of this store knows I love iridescent, so she's got some set aside for me already. Okay guys, so kind of just jumping right into it. I need to put you guys down because I need both of my hands while I'm glass shopping, but I just wanted to explain to you how I kind of go about the glass store. So first thing I'll do right away is if I have any custom work or orders that I need to specifically get glass for, I'll pick those up right away and go and place that right onto the counter and start making a pile. Other than that, it's kind of a free-for-all and I get to pick whatever speaks to me most. And I kind of try to get inspiration from the glass itself. And what I mean by that is what in real life is already something that color. So for example, I just picked up that blue wavy textured iridescent. It reminds me of water. So am I making a piece with water in it or a seashell or something like that? You know what I mean? So I really try to get inspiration from the glass itself and I take that all the way to my designs. Sorry if the cat is bugging you. I just thought it was funny how just this one day he apparently wanted to come out and say hi so many times. But right here doing the same thing, just kind of picking out what speaks to me most and getting it. It's as simple as that. This stuff up here is so pretty. It all almost looks like ice, like super frost almost. Look at that. So beautiful and it's in every single color imaginable. So much of the glass here is stunning. Or even like this one, I just saw this one this morning. If that is not a neon glass, I don't know what is. How cool is that? It's like a highlighter. Okay, somehow I lost the audio to this bit right here, but I quickly wanted to show you this glass. It's so cool looking. It reminds me of confetti. So it's a clear based glass and it has strips of like thick color and little color dots going all the way through it. And there's so many different colors and variations that comes in. It's so neat. So I'm just making a last stroll through the store, making sure I didn't forget anything. And of course I got distracted right here by this beautiful glass. It's like $45 for a sheet. And it's green based, so I didn't end up getting it. If it was black based, I would have. So I'm in the last section here. I know I had to grab these two white sheets for a couple customs I'm working on and also some Nightmare Before Christmas ornaments. All right. In the last minute. I don't think so. Where's my stacks so far? This little stack. And it's over here. Normally I don't buy this much stuff, but she had just got new iridescent in, so I couldn't resist. Stacks and stacks and one huge sheet. And that's not even a full sheet. That is two thirds. So there's even more, and that's what they come shipped like all the way from Mexico or New Mexico and other places. Okay. Let's go home and cut some glass. Okay 
Okay guys, so it's actually a couple days later. I didn't get a chance to show you everything I picked up at the glass store. So I just pulled out all my favorite pieces that I picked up that day and we can go over those now. Okay, so first things first. I know this isn't glass, but I still wanted to show you guys because I did pick these up. These are called add-ons. And basically what add-ons are is as you can see, there's sheets of metal with a ledge. And this is basically to build your outer rim when you're building an actual stained glass piece. Like I said before, a lot of the things I make are sun catchers, or even if I do make a stained glass piece, I do it freehand. I think that's half of the appeal of my work that I don't use standard ways of making stained glass, but I wanna try. So hopefully that'll be in another video. I'm gonna try out these add-ons. But first up, I want to show you my favorite piece of glass. I'm too impatient to wait because I love this so much and I haven't seen it in forever. This beautiful glass right here. Isn't that stunning? It looks almost like an abalone shell, right? It reminds me of literally some type of seashell or something, but I believe the brand is Wisma and it's like a light gray, silver, almost lavender based glass with a light texture to it and it's got that super bright, high shine iridescent. The sun isn't out very much today, but here you can see down there. It's a vivid, vivid, bright, beautiful iridescent. So I got a, quite a few pieces of this large size sheets of stained glass, and this is definitely my favorite. I actually, when I first started stained glass, found a few pieces of that exact glass, and then it disappeared. So unlucky for me, when I actually first started making stained glass, one of the biggest iridescent makers moved out of the country to New Mexico, but that's a story for another day. So here's another piece, and this is that same glass I was showing you in store, but this is in that bright, beautiful red. So it's that frost, almost lace or fern-like glass I was telling you guys about. So I got a few pieces of this. I got it in this bright red. I also got it in this nice, beautiful royal blue. And then I also got it in a green since it's the holiday season. I figured I can definitely put this to good use, but aren't those all beautiful? It's just that texture gets me every time. I probably sound like a crazy person talking about glass, but I guess it shows I love my job. And here's another few favorites. I love this mainly because not only the beautiful bright iridescence, but the texture. So the texture on this is like, kind of sounds gross, but it's almost like a brain or like coral or something. Isn't that so cool? It can be a pain in the bum to work with, but it's worth it. It's actually absolutely stunning. So I got a few pieces of this. I got a few pieces in the same texture, same iridescence, but in a light blue and a light teal as well. So I got a few of that. And same type of glass. Again, I believe the brand is Wisma. And I got this nice, beautiful, I call it vintage yellow. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, I'll link it down below, but you can see some pieces I've already made for the holiday season with the stuff right here. I don't know why it reminds me of vintage. I call it vintage yellow iridescence, but it's another beautiful one. So I got a few pieces of that. And last but not least, I was super excited about this. This is one of many of the iridescents she had pulled to the side to me, or pulled to the side for me. So it's like an orange, yellow, red based iridescence. Again, it's got that light texture to it, but that iridescent is just stunning. Doesn't that look magical? Again, I sound like a crazy person talking about glass, but I absolutely love it and she had pulled a stack of these and the same types and the other colors I just showed you to the side for me. So I got a whole bunch of this as well. It's so hard to find orange iridescents. Even yellows can be tricky, purples. So I was really, really happy to have this. I don't even want to use it, it's so beautiful. Okay, but I think that's it. I think that pretty much covers the basis. Everything else I got was just either like plain black or white or plain red stuff for customs and whatnot. So 
as always thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed today's video if it wasn't informational necessarily i hope it was just entertaining if you guys ever have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments down below i'm always around to answer them again i'm going to have my instagram my etsy shop linked in the description so check those out if you like this kind of content and if not i will see you guys next time bye